So Hobart MG2032, 200 pound hopper meat mixer grinder. Production date of November 2013. Serial number 31-1741-264. Very, very close to new. I'm gonna show you it operating here in a, in a minute or so. Includes the foot control, wrench, original instructions, and this drain pan. Everything on the inside you need is also included. This is Hobart's current production model, meat grinders. This is their biggest one. They have a 150 pound hopper, which is the MG1532. This is the 200 pound hopper, MG2032. This model first came out in 98. So this is 15 years into the evolution of the MG2032 and has many, many improvements over the earlier models, the electrical, which is behind this front Hobart panel has all been upgraded and simplified on these newer models. Foot control, now you can detach the foot control uh, from the outside before you had to take this panel off to detach it. Um, they've, they've strengthened uh, this top as it was known to crack on the older ones. Uh, there's been many, many other improvements. You can Google the MG2032 You'll see they cost around $21,000. Uh, so this is a very, very, very good price on this unit, including crating and shipping. It also includes this long cord with cord end. This is a 208, 230 volt, three phase unit. Uh, to, to start, We'll just start the mix. You'll hear it's super, super good condition transmission. Like I said, it's manufactured November 2013. So it's, it's very, very, very close to new. There's no play on this and everything's perfect. To do mix grind, which will then engage the seven and a half horsepower bottom worm, uh, you just hit the mix grind start. Also you can hear that's very smooth and quiet. Foot switch, you can do all this with control of your foot which will allow you to use your hands to help feed the meat. And that's the MG2032 serial number 31-1741-264. There is a very small uh, dent there, as you can see. It's very hard to notice from the inside. It's a little minor scrape. Uh, and there's a couple other minor nicks in here, but it doesn't affect the performance at all. Almost every mixer grinder over the course of their life is going to get some nicks or scratches on the uh, inside of the bowl. It's basically uh, unpreventable. Um, but if you have questions on this, let me know. This is the November 2013 Hobart MG2032.